We're going to do a quick demo of how to install Python on your Windows 10 machine. So you bring up your web browser and you go to python.org and you download the latest version and what you want is it it actually comes up and it says what you need. This is the latest version and I'll download for Windows and I'm just going to hit save file and then we can see it being downloaded right here and close that one so once this is done I can say show my downloads there it is and I can double click on this and it's going to install and it says upgrade now and that's fine I'll just say upgrade and there's a little button that flips that comes up that didn't happen on mine because I've already got it installed it says add Python to your path makes your life easier if you say yes and so what we're doing is we're waiting for this to install I can close my browser and then I will show you a little hint that on your machine you can go to this PC right click click on properties and it tells you if you're on a 64-bit or a 32-bit processor notice the, notice that I'm installing the 32-bit version 32 will work on 64 but not the other way around so you cannot install 64-bit on a 32-bit machine and once this is still loading I'll show you another little trick that comes in handy is that in your Windows Explorer there is something called view and notice this file name extensions I like to run with file name extensions so I know what kind of files I'm working with because when you do things cross-platform for example you may get a file from a Mac and it's a dot pages file and there's nothing on Windows that reads a dot pages file so file name extensions also makes it easy for you to find your programming code in .c or C++ or .db or in our case .py so as this is installing and grinding away here um, those are a few things I want to mention and then once it comes up and it says what was happening it says I'll just hit close here well now that I've got it installed I don't see any icons I don't know what happened so what happened was a new application got installed called idle IDLE and this is the one I just installed so I'll use that one and what this does is it brings up a scary looking blank screen of the Python shell think of this as the actual interpreter this is where you can type in valid syntax and you can get it to do things um, like a calculator and it will actually do things for you but it doesn't save it so if you want to write a program and you actually want to save a program you click on file new file okay. Now once we have our new file here you see this notepad like editor this is the same if you've installed Python on a Linux box or a Windows box or a Mac they all work the same so to make your code work across platform you type in user bin env python and then you give it the name of the program this is convention and say this is a demo and then you can put your name if you want to I'll just put Dale right here and say print and you say hello comma world this has been used to teach programming since the early days and there's my first program so notice it says untitled so I need to save it and give it a title a couple ways to do that so I'm just gonna say run run it by hitting F5 and it says it's got to be saved 
I said, okay, let's put it on my desktop and I will give it hello.py. And there it goes and it runs hello world. So I now have my program. It works. I saved it. Let's make a little change times five and print hello world five times. Hit the F5 key, save it. There it goes. Close this down and I have my hello world right here on my desktop. So if I click on that, you go, wait, 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 what happened? It's broke. No, it's not. This is perfectly good functioning. This is how we fix this little quirk. This little quirk is when we have things running in both the GUI and the command line, we need to kind of compensate. So here we simply say input, press any key to continue. Just like in the old, monster, old, old days of MS-DOS. So now when I hit this, save it and run it, you notice it says stop. Hit enter, goes away. And now when I run it, now you can see it actually ran, and then it goes away. So that is a very quick introduction of how to install Python and get your very first program running on Windows 10.